this is a change of scenery, we're not fishing. Welcome to Northern Tiger Radar's Only Pans edition. Um, welcome to me humble abode. What I'll be doing, I've already pre-started this by the way, so I'll drop you down and have a look. I've got me whiting and me salmon already in the pan with the bay leaves. I'll just move you there so you can see there. I've got me potatoes on. I'm just about to make a tartar sauce. Um, so it's going to be a quick one this one. I'll just lift you back up there. Nice lightning this one, we're going to have a struggle with the lightning. Um, so, plan of attack. Uh, you make the mash. Once your mash is made, you'll dry it out. We've got the salmon and the white and cook in there. I've only put salmon in and bulk it out. We will be using the chives in with it. Just add a bit of greenery and a sweet pepper also. What else we've we got here? We're gonna be making a salad to go along with these and some sweet baby, no, sweet um, baby potatoes, garlic baby potatoes. So that's this is gonna be my tea tonight. Um, I spent about 50 quid. Tesco's there, so yeah. I'll come back to you when I'm starting putting it together. Noogie doggy. So as you can see there, that's the white and the salmon that that's in the milk there. This is the white that we bought from the session that we had the other day. And as you'll see, you want to just so it's falling apart, and the skin should just peel off. And there you go. So what I'll do is I'll get all that, all the skin taken off. Um, we'll check the potatoes and I'll get back here. So I'll be making the tartar sauce. You'll want quite a, quite a bit of mayonnaise. We'll be putting in one, two of the horseradish. Change the spoons every time, man. Eh? Two Dijon. And we'll mix that together. About that many caper berries. You want them all chopped and crushed up nice. Half a shallot, a juice of some lemon, and half a teaspoon of pepper, uh, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Just give that a mix up. And what we'll do is we'll finally chop some parsley and we'll put that through for the finish, okay? Go on your dice and your banana shallot. Side all the way down lengthways. And then I just want to run it nice and smoothly. Get some nice fine dice. It doesn't have to be chef style quality or restaurant quality. It can just be homemade because this is what my family will be eating tonight. I hope they appreciate it. Remember guys, eh? big thumbs up for us. <laughs> a tip for you when you're juicing your lemons. Get a sieve and simply just crush through the sieve, which means it collects all the crap in the bottom and you don't have to fish it out of your tartar sauce. And then I'll anyway, last the bottle at least is some parsley. Flat leaf will do you, whatever you want to use wise, parsley wise. Just to give it a nice little colour. I like my tartar sauce chunky. Um, the shop ones aren't very good. Um, I prefer a nice chunky tartar sauce to go on me fish cakes. So you go, what we'll do is we'll add all that in. Just get a nice big stir. Remember to add a little bit of salt as well to taste. Oh, there's a nice chunky tartar sauce made. There we go. Right, I'm gonna check these potatoes and see how we get on with them. As you can see by the steam going mental there, it's time to get the colander out. And we're gonna make some mash. Everybody knows how to make mash, you don't need any step-by-step -step instructions on how to make mash. But what you do need to do is once you've made your mash, put it back into your bowl and warm it through on your pan um, on a medium heat, just so it dries the mash out so it's not like slop. Um, don't add any butter, don't add any milk or anything like that. And I'm looking for my potato masher, but my child hasn't done the dishes so it'll still be in the dishwasher. So I'll get this mashed and I'll show you, um, we'll put it together. I'll be sifting out all of the fish out in the milk and taking the skin from the salmon and the whiting and adding it to the mash. I'll come back when I'm doing that for you. So as you can see, all the skin will draw, fall off the cooked salmon. I'll just place it, place it in a sieve 
takes as much moisture out as possible to fall through. But that's the, that's the salmon done. Because you find a big chunks of salmon, removing the skin. And then you've got the nice whiting in the back there. Any bit of skin, just remove it. We don't want the skin in it. We just want the nice fish, that's all. So what I'll do is I'll let this cool down a bit so we can manage and, and obviously make fish cake shapes. And then I'll put it in the fridge and I'll make a panny, uh, panny station. So it's basically egg, flour and panko breadcrumb. I find panko breadcrumb the best for it. You can use any other kind of breadcrumb, um, but I prefer panko breadcrumb. It's easy to do, it's easy to manage and it cooks quite nice and, and goes nice and golden brown. So I'll get all this sorted and I'll get back to you, okay? So when the fish is cooling uh, and draining of excess fluid that you don't want, we'll put it over there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add the chives to the already mashed mash. This has been back on and we've thrown it through so it goes kind of flaky. Uh, there's nothing in it, so we're gonna season that up. We'll put that back over there and basically all we want to do is get a bit of colour into the, the fish cakes and a different bit of texture. We'll do some chives and we'll do that nice big sweet pepper there um, for a bit of colour. And don't forget obviously the usual salt, chilli, uh, chilli? Salt and pepper. You can add chilli if you want, it depends on how you like your, your fish cakes. Um, like I said, this is, this is not restaurant quality, this is just cooking your catch and enjoying it um, at home. Or maybe cook for your family, friends or whatnot. Um, so yeah, that's enough chives for that. So what we'll do is we'll add them straight into the mash. And basically what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna add the fish directly into the mash. Give that a big mix up, add some salt, some pepper. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into the fridge for a bit, let it cool so I can manage it properly and make them into fish cakes. Okie dokie. Welcome back. Had about a half an hour's break. Um, there's one mix, it's nice and cold now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it into small bowl shapes, fish cake shapes, squash it down. And I'm gonna set myself a panny up. Um, I'm currently watching the latest episode of TNTR. I uh, don't know if that's classed as vain or not, but hey, you know, views are views. Um, yeah, so I'm going to set up the panny, I'm going to do the fish cakes, I'm going to get them all sorted, get me pan of hot oil on and get them sorted and ready to, to cook. Um, yeah, so I'll bring you back when I'm doing that. Sorry there's so many intervals and breaks, um, it's just, it is what it is, isn't it? So, so this is me panning station. I have some clean flour, probably far too much. I just turn it in. This down. Obviously, we have whisked eggs, and then we have our pango. So as easy as this, we'll get rid of the, the stuff we don't need. Put it in the sink. Give me a second. So. I got blue pita, here's one I made earlier. That's with standard fish cake. Not too wet, just nice. So basically just want to place it in the flour. Tap off the excess. So it's nice like that. Now this is where it gets tricky because you end up soggy fingers on it on, on one hand and not on the other. So I keep this one just for panning. So simple, just in the egg butter. Drain up the excess. Then, this hand, just cover your fish cake with your with your panny. Sorry, there we go. You don't want them too thick, so they cook evenly. A nice pot on there again. So there we go. There's one fish cake made. Right, I want to cut this off while I make the rest. Okay. <laughs> The math of making fish cakes is panny everywhere. My hands are just clean, not claggy. But here we go. There's the finished product. Um, I'm just gonna get some hot oil on and get them in there. Eh? There we go. Looking good, eh? It's time to finish these fish cakes for you. So, take your fish cakes that you've had and made. 
placement some oil there. Got a nice colour on them. Let's just have a look there. You want a nice golden colour on each side. Uh, and that's basically it. And time to play them up after that. So I'll put them on a, on a medium heat, get them, get a nice colour with them. And then I'll plate up the dish and I'll show you how it looks, okay? Don't forget to give them a little colour on the outsides as well. Four of these, mind you. There we go. Fish cakes, well, sorry, whiten and salmon fish cakes with heavy baby potatoes, a little bit of chunky tartar sauce, a little side salad and a lemon. And I'm gonna eat this.